Hello, this is the Spirit Manga 187. Welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. So last match we played with Zaladar and we faced against an Amber Rain deck and we have won. In the meantime I played some matches on my phone and I gained some rating. I'm at 257 now. And let's see what we will have here. This is a Grave Bone, a Mage, you're gonna deal some damage. I guess he does not have any big weapons, so let's get rid of the Leyline Nexus and give him the high. Have fun. So I talked with you about uh, the Infinity Core, and I just added one more in the deck. So before I played one, and it really saved uh, the game. And uh, I played well, Zeladar. A few times before uh, uh, the same deck, also with one Infinity Core, and I don't think it's a card you need to play more than two, but one is just a little bit too uh, uh, too less. Or how do you call it? Just not enough. Uh, so let's just drop it out. Um, so I, what I don't like is that I play two of them now, and I have it in my opening hand. Because yeah, I really wanted Infinity Core in mid game or late game, just as a saving card. Uh, it gives you life. It gives you back your allies. And um, it fills your deck up, so you won't be out decked. Um, so this is a hard choice. I really like this card, the Wolf and Tracker. I'm a really big fan of the card, but I'm thinking about what to do. Should I keep this Morbid Acolyte and sacrifice the Death Mage? But the Death Mage is a really good card. Um, but I think I'm going to sacrifice it because I want this one. Because it has more health than the Death Mage. The Death Mage is such a good card. If you're playing a Shadow Hero, I would recommend it always four times in your deck. Because it's good with his coming into play ability and it has a nice ability. Yeah, well, I think he's going to shoot it on my acolyte. Yes, I was expecting that a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah I had to play something and it was the best option. Otherwise, he would just use his ability on attack to kill off the dead mage. Um, this is nice, an anti matter. Um, what are we going to do here? I want to keep this. Maybe he's going to play uh, something big and scary. So I want to keep the mind control. And are we going to play this? No, it's just going to die. If I play it, it's just going to die. So just let's just play this one and shuffle the morbid acolyte back into our deck. We are not gaining life on it, I think. Nope. Just our starting health. So that was the only thing I could do, because otherwise the Wolfen Tracker would just die next turn. Well, now I'm going to take two damage. Uh, so he has five cards in his hand, three resources, four resources now. Three uh, pretty equal now. Here comes the Tome of Knowledge. That gives him some advantage in card draw because. The antimatter costs a lot of mana. Um, so what are we going to do right now? Do I want to sacrifice another death match? No, I do not want to sacrifice. Mm. Or the wolf and track. Oh, this is hard. I can use the ability to shoot him down. And play a woven tracker. I think that's the best decision. So let's just do that. So then if he wants to kill it he has to pop out a fireball or he has to use his ability and a lightning strike or something like that. So he will not be able to draw a card. But I think he's going to hit it with a fireball and draw a card which would be the best I think. Or he's going to play something like a. Oh, that one I didn't expect. But let's just get rid of this Infinity Core. We just drew our second here. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to attack first. Or so maybe I'm going to draw something better than the Mind Control. If 
because I definitely want to play the mind control on the Shadow Knight. But that's just not the case, so we are going to play the mind control. After all, taking him down to 16. And I thought I saw another mind control that I sacrificed, but I do not know. I can do it. Did I sacrifice a mind control already? Or? I hope not. So then I have three left in my deck. So that's pretty scary for him. There comes a dead mage. And what's coming after it? A dead collector. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so stupid. I misread the ability. I thought it was the, the one that dealt two damage to two targets. And that's the, the ranger. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, of course, that's a ranger. <laughs> oh, that's crap. Um, let's just use our ability. Oh, that's a, just a newbie mistake. Um, well, and I also should have attacked first. Um, well, well, well. Let's deal some damage to the death collector or. No, we are not going to do it. We're going to do damage to the dead mage. And we can play. Uh, let's see. We want to play. What do we want to play? I think we want to play a dead mage. And do one damage to a shadow knight. Oh my god, how could I just misread that ability and the card, it's a whole different card, it's a diff different class, and that's so stupid. Well, things like things like that happen. <laughs> Let's just see what he's going to do, a Shriek of Vengeance, what is he going to use for, the anti matter no, the Infinity for. okay, well I have some help. Left, so it would be not such a big problem, I hope. I to remove the dead mage and I'd hit my Wolfen Tracker. So, no more card advantage for me. So, let's just hope we are going to draw a Shadow Farm here. That would be very nice. Nope, we did not. Let's get rid of. I need 7 mana, so 7 resources, so I can play 2 allies. Uh, let's get rid of this one over here. No, no, no. The dead mage. Or do I want to draw a card? Yeah, let's draw a card. Oh, I do not want to get rid of both of these. But this one has to go. Because it's killing. But I cannot destroy this turn. And this one is also pretty deadly. Um, yeah, this match is lost. Let's play this one. Maybe I should discard this one, this mind control, and play the Morbid Acolyte and the Shriek of Vengeance. But yeah, I made some crucial mistakes already in my whole startup. In my whole first few turns because I was scared of his ability that it would deal two damage to me and my allies but that would never happen because this is no other <laughs> shadow hero shadow era hero so yeah this is this is a sinking ship we just have to pump out some allies. Maybe we can still change the game, but I think not. He has so many board control, card advantage, etc. So let's get back up to 8 resources here, I think. And, and this one's pretty scary as well. It's getting very, very big. But with this ability I'm going to take out two of them and I am going to mind control that one oh here it goes 
And we have a little bit of board control again. Should I play this one? Yeah. I want to add and play. And we have a little bit board control again. <laughs> so he's at 11 hit points. Or 11 life, however you want to call it. And I'm at 19. I have no infinity course left. And only one anti-matter. Because I also sacrificed one, I think. But I do not know for sure. So he's going to draw cards. Yeah, what, what I would do if I was him. Draw a card every turn. There comes a death mage. Hitting the acolyte for one. What are we going to draw here? Uh, death collector or death collector. Recycle. Mm. What to do? What to do? Uh, I want to draw cards. And we want to play this one. We want to keep it. Now we're going to sacrifice it. No matter. Let's just use our ability here. Do we want to play a bad Santa? Do we? Or a dead mage? Let's, let's just play the bad Santa. So we are going to take the mage for two, I think. <laughs> yes, we're going to have the mage for two and play a Wukum Tracker and unturn. I made so many mistakes this, this game, and I almost changed the game again with, with some board control last turn, but it's already gaining new allies and a lot of cards in his hand and eight resources, so. He has some advantage here. Dealing some damage now with Lightning Strike. To both of my allies. Playing another ally. Destroying my allies so I have no, no allies in play. And he has three. <laughs> How are we going to fix this? Well, I don't think we can. Well, that's nice, but I cannot use it. Let's just use our ability again. Get rid of the bad sander. And well, well, well. Let's play Shadow Knight and an Iron Knight Garage and enter. So he's going to pump this one up again, I guess. We have to mind control next turn, and this turn we are going to lose both of our allies again and take at least two damage. At least. So we are pretty defensive this whole game, but yeah. I, uh, I made some really bad mistakes in this game, so it's my own fault. There goes my Shadow Knight, and two damage in my face. And he has lots of resources left for some new cards. There comes a fireball. Take me down to 13. And let's get rid of the sacrifice to land. Yeah, one night. Do we want to draw some cards? Yes, we want. Let's get rid of this. And Maybe we can even finish him off. Well, we are pretty low, but... And hit him in his own face with a death collector. Take him down to 7. And play a morbid acolyte. And for one turn. So if he's playing something big, this turn, maybe we can pull it off. Because he has 9 resources. And he has 2 fireballs in his deck left, I think. Here comes a lightning strike, taking me down to 10. Well, I hope he plays something big, a plasma or a beomond, now a shadow knight or something. Then I could finish him off. No, oh, he's taking me down. Oh no, maybe not. I'm at 8 life. Oh, he's not playing any allies. 
Oh, but we were so close. I can only deal him um, 5 damage next to him. Or he's going to retrieve a Shadow Knight. Come on. Yes, did he do it? Did he do it? Yes, he did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, he just died because he wanted to go for some overkill. Wow, this is an epic match. So we use our ability and finish him off. Oh my god, if he didn't retrieve the Shadow Knight, he was safe. Phew, well, that were some, some mistakes from my part, but at the end it was a big mistake from his part, because he wanted to go for some overkill. Well, maybe it was not overkill, but yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't know he, what he had in hand, but he had a lot of cards in his hand, and he could draw, card, draw cards. And he was playing a mage, so he would definitely maybe draw some burn cards in the next turn, but... Well, at the end, we won. Uh, so, I hope you liked this match. It was really, well, it was a really fun match, after all. Because we won well. So, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And uh, I guess we'll see you next match. <laughs> Cheers!